There's another type of radio signal we might detect, analogous to a lighthouse. A lighthouse sweeps the horizon of the ocean, not because it's directed at any particular ship, but just for the benefit of anybody who's out there. Uh, is it possible that a distant uh, ancient civilization has built a beacon, either laser or radio beacon, at the center or near the center of the galaxy that's sweeping the plane of the galaxy, and that if we just stare hard enough in one spot, we might pick up a transient radio pulse, a blip, rather than an actual signal like tuning into a radio station. And there's a tantalizing clue, because in 1977, uh, something of this sort was detected uh, at a telescope called the Big Ear. Uh, and back in the days, uh, it, I mean, it wasn't that long ago, but in those days, the output from uh, any sort of electronic system was in terms of uh, either punch tape or these numbers on, uh, on sheets of paper. And the operator looked at this sometimes, sometime afterwards and noted this sort of funny uh, thing here and wrote, wow, in the margin. And so there was a powerful, still unexplained, radio pulse coming from a particular region of the galaxy. Nobody's detected anything from there since. Uh, so it's, of course, known as the wow signal. So you see we're in a curious situation. There are a few tantalizing clues. We may not be alone, but we still don't know how non-life turned into life. We still don't know if we are just freaks, uh, the result of a stupendously improbable accident uh, that's happened only once in the universe, or if it really is teeming with life and there are alien civilizations scattered all, all around the galaxy and beyond waiting uh, to, to signal us, and we should look for evidence of their existence. Thank you.